Hey guys, the Lord here, back in with another video. And today I got a quick uh, haul video for you. Got a couple things uh, this week, as well as a trade package from uh, man Carlo Sutton. Um, Carlo Sutton's toy finds. I will leave a link to his channel in the description below. Um, starting off, I did finally get the uh, classic Snow Trooper from the Black series. I'll be doing a review of him tomorrow. Um, Saturday I'll be uploading this. Oh, well, you know what? Maybe Monday. Sometime, sometime next week. Because I gotta do a shite overlord, says. So, got him. And then from, uh, Hamburg Watchman Toys on Instagram, I got Space Ghost with all of his accessories. Now, this is actually my old one from, uh, ChaseCon Expo last year. Uh, just because the one I got from Hamburg has a light-up hand, which didn't work, but oh well. Um, but this one has the cue card holding hand and works a little better with this desk and stuff. So, uh, for the most part, it is complete. I don't have the alternate hands, but I will have the fist eventually uh, for this side. Uh, that's it for him. Let me just move all this stuff out of the way. But he's got his coffee mug, his uh, four cue cards, his desk, his chair, and uh, himself, which he himself is a you know six inch figure. Like I said, I reviewed this one, or uh, this was my uh, old one, so. And then uh, from a man, Carlos Sutton's, Sutton, what have you, and a couple of Transformers. I got uh, this Megatron here, which is actually pretty cool because I've never had this one before. Let me try and zoom up so you can see what I'm showing you. Uh, but we got him and we got uh, Dark Steel from uh, Transformers Prime. Beast Hunters. Now, I never bought this one. I remember seeing him often in the store, but I think they were like 25 bucks for Voyagers. I think Carlos paid next to nothing for this one. So, uh, and then Megatron's actually a lot bigger than I thought he was. Wow. I think this actually released during the time of the first movie, because I remember seeing it on Hasbro's website. At least something like it. Maybe it's a Cybertron deal. I don't know. All I know is that it's complete, believe it or not. Uh, he doesn't have a missile or anything. He's just a straight-up Transformer, so that's pretty neat. Uh, he does turn into a gun, which is also pretty neat. And then this guy turns into a dragon over here. I reviewed the original version of this, Grimwing. It's just a green version. This is like a blue version of it. So uh, you can check that out. That's uh, probably just search it on my channel. Uh, if you really wanted to. So, uh, got those. And then, got this dude here. I believe this is a Snow Troll from Lord of the Rings. If I understand that correctly. He's kind of like an oversized, um... Bring this down a little bit. Oversized Popo figure. Which, uh... Not really my thing. I just thought it looked really, really cool. Um, I mean, he's got a he's got a mace in his hand. He's got a little dude in his hand. Looks like his staff or whatever is broke, but the troll itself is fine. Um, I may pass that on to uh, 
Count Stankus, because he does the Lord of the Rings and the Popo stuff. But the only problem is, unlike Popo, this has a little bit, I think this has a little bit more paint detail on it. But nonetheless, that's a pretty, uh, pretty cool figure. He is a little tricky to stand. Kind of got to work at it. And then uh, from the video game, uh, something online, I can't remember offhand. I got this uh, figure here of the Juggernaut. Not the Marvel version, but Magus Online? Exus Online? I don't remember. But this is the Juggernaut from that game. Uh, he rolls, he's pretty, he's a hollow thing, uh, he's kind of heavy, I guess, uh, but he's got a few joints here and there, he's got a little pincer claw, which you can open and close, and then he's got a little working drill over on this side. Pretty neat. Can rotate that. And he did come with a stand so you could stand him up. I can find that quick. There you go. It's just a little clear thing. Nothing fancy. It's what it is. But then, my favorite piece of the entire box. Trying to get them to line up with the stand here. There we go. I think it's in place. Oh, either way. We got a mutant spawn uh, from Spawn Mutations. Um, I really like this figure. He looks like Venom, to be honest with you. Uh, Probably why I like it so much. Uh, I'll probably review this for 13 days of Halloween. Or 31. Depending. Um, just depends on how much time I got. I got a decent amount of time. In the fall. Because uh, all my classes are. Either start late enough. Or get out early enough. To where I'll have plenty of time to make videos. But. Yeah, and then I only work one, I'm only going to be able to work one day, so, yeah, he's pretty, he's pretty amazing in terms of the sculpt, I really, really like that figure, uh, again, probably my favorite piece of the entire box, and I think he only paid like three, four bucks for it, which is pretty awesome. You gotta give it to the guy. He finds some really good stuff for next to nothing. I mean, that last 40-minute video he had, he found all kinds of cool stuff. And then the last piece is actually not a figure. It's a mask. Now, I get masks pretty much... I pretty much uh, got masks from Carlos. That's about it. Um, him and then uh, those gauntlet hands from Twisted... Uh, I don't exact. I wouldn't say I collect masks, but I don't turn them down if the offer's there. So, uh, I, I don't mind having some masks around, you know. Maybe do some dumb crap for videos, but, uh, it is this skull jester mask with the little dangly bits. One of them is missing, but that's just gonna add to the fact that this dude's just freaking creepy as hell. I mean, it's, it's, this is a Harley Quinn to me. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, it's it's a pretty extravagant mask. Uh, really, really nice. I remember, uh, I think one of my cousins went as that for Halloween one year. Yeah, that is it. That is my uh, trade box from Carlos. And uh, a couple things I got uh, during the week. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the next installment of Shite Overlord Says. And until next time, I will catch you guys later.